Since they were first theorized by Jean-Michel in 1783, we've gleaned only a little information about black holes. They're impossible to observe directly, after all. Still, what we've learned about these mysterious phenomena has mind-boggling implications. Most Incredible Black Hole Discoveries The Help of Movie Magic Back in 2014, Christopher Nolan's blockbuster Interstellar not only broke a lot of brains, but it brought with it a brand new toy for astrophysicists to play with. The writing and directing team got to have fun on the playground, portraying a more fantasized reality of a black hole. The visual effects crew had the harder job of making that black hole look as realistic as possible. This wasn't something any other film had tried doing, at least not with the precision and detail needed. With the help of prominent physicist Kip Thorne, the special effects team created a computer program that would accurately render a black hole from up close. Their code, Double Negative Gravitational Renderer, or DANGER, not only accounted for light and energy surrounding and entering the film's black hole, but it did so in IMAX-level high definition. What we see on screen in the film isn't exactly how a real black hole would function. That's the danger of Hollywood, after all. Some of the numbers had to be fudged to pretty up the black hole for the audience. Despite that, the danger code itself is extremely accurate, enough so that NASA contacted the crew about using their code in experiments. Two sizes fit all. Black holes are classified based on their two basic sizes, big and really, really big. The not quite as big type is a stellar black hole. These have masses 10 to 24 times that of our suns, contained within an infinitely small reality bending point known as a singularity. Their name comes from their origin. When the most massive stars explode in a supernova blast, they implode into themselves to become incredibly dense. Their gravities nearly rip holes in the fabric of reality, dropping anything nearby in these stellar black hole's orbits until they disappear forever, like water flushing down the drain. Most, if not all, galaxies have a supermassive black hole at their centers, like spiders in their webs, drawing their prey ever closer before finally striking. First image of a black hole. Perhaps it's old hat by this point, but last year the world was astounded when scientists unveiled the first image of an active black hole. The Event Horizon Telescope had pointed itself at Messier 87's supermassive black hole, 53.5 million light years away for a week to capture as much as they could. Since the EHT is composed of not a single telescope, but eight synchronized around the world, the photo had to be stitched together over two years. As it was put together, piece by piece in the universe's most elaborate puzzle game, the team in charge held their breaths to see whether or not Einstein's theory of relativity, the linchpin for current black hole theory, was correct. If not, we'd have to change our understanding of physics entirely. What the telescope captured was the eye of Sauron made real, and it amazingly matches predictions for what a black hole in its event horizon would look like. Even Interstellar's dangerous simulated black hole matches the real thing, meaning our understanding of the universe is safe, for now. G-Objects there are six mysterious objects in the Milky Way that act strangely as they orbit around the galaxy's central supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A-star. From afar, these G objects look like strange clouds of gas, but act exactly like stars, remaining surprisingly compact. As they approach Sag A-star, however, they stretch and distort themselves like they're about to be completely swallowed by the black hole's event horizon. That's not the case. While they may look like gas clouds, these G objects might have once been binary stars that were forced to merge thanks to Sag A star's immense gravity. The clouds surrounding them are just cosmic trench coats formed by the merge that they wear to fool the black hole, like a kid sneaking into an R rated movie. Once they pass Sag A star's gaze, these stellar children shed their coats and recompact themselves to reassume their true identities. If it's possible here, then these G objects may be common throughout the universe. They might even be a stable feature surrounding supermassive black holes. Monster Black Hole Stellar black holes aren't that big or scary, at least not compared to their supermassive siblings. Yet one just 15,000 light years away has had scientists look at it in terrified awe. It's an eldritch being worthy of Lovecraft as it defies the laws of physics and stellar evolution as we know them. This monster black hole, labeled LB-1, has a mass of 70 suns, three times greater than the largest estimate for a stellar black hole. It also shouldn't be possible within the Milky Way, and yet there it is. This could be an error of data interpretation, as some later third-party examinations have suggested. 
It's certainly possible, since the black hole breaks our understanding of the universe, which scientists are reluctant to throw away for potentially circumstantial data. Or the monster theory could be correct. At this point, only further direct observation of LB-1 will tell the truth. Mapping the Event Horizon Black holes are unknowable beyond the event horizon. Whatever passes that point is eternally trapped within the grasp of a singularity's hungry maw. Even a hint of its image is gone forever. We can still look as close to the edge of the event horizon as possible to glean about the invisible black hole within. Through a process called reverberation mapping, scientists recently traced X-ray echoes of light passing into a supermassive black hole named Iris 13224-3809. These maps are the closest look we have of the structure of a black hole, even better than the one we got from the picture last year. Like cosmic bats looking for prey, we were able to cosmically echolocate the environment around the black hole. For our juicy snack, we calculated its mass and spin speed. This may not be enough to sustain someone like me, but for an astrophysicist, this is one of the rarest and most delicious meals. Tidal Disruption Events when stars approach an event horizon, they don't just get pulled in by a black hole's gravity, but are torn apart. This tidal disruption event forces a star to thin into a string of gas and join the bright accretion disk surrounding the black hole. While some gas may escape its clutches, most of the remains of the star circles the black hole until they eventually disappear from view forever. Stellar tidal disruptions in a galaxy don't just happen once in a blue moon, but once every 10,000 to 100,000 years. So, Getting a good look at them is more than a little bit difficult. Only a few dozen have been observed since the first in 2014. The most recent, dubbed Assassin-19BT, was found earlier in the disruption process than any other, and NASA scientists watched as it lived up to its name. Right before the star perished in its grasp, it flared bright enough to even be seen in the day, like a final cry for help. Mother Black Hole Supermassive black holes notorious world leaders that they are, are theorized to be the reason star formation eventually ends in all galaxies through a process known as negative feedback. The bigger the black hole, the faster the galaxy stops creating new stars. One supermassive black hole, however, has been found to actively help with stellar formation in more than just its neck of the woods. 9.9 .9 billion light years away, this black hole has been acting as a mother to stars in at least four galaxies up to a million light years away from its own. Clearly, positive feedback is one of the best ways for raising your children, both in this galaxy and the next. Triple Crash Course A billion light years away, three galaxies and their central supermassive black holes are on a crash course with one another. No one's quite sure what will happen when they do. We've observed black hole mergers in the past, but they were only ever binary collisions of smaller stellar black holes. A triple merger will solve what's known as the final parsec problem, i.e. the reason we've never seen supermassive mergers before. This theoretical problem states that two supermassive black holes can only approach as close as a few light years from each other. They have too much energy caught in their orbits for even their incredible gravities to fully merge them. With a third black hole in the mix, however, that last push towards one another could finally breach the gap. And one day in the future, we'll have a monster supermassive black hole on our hands. As cool as they are, black holes are pretty terrifying. What do you think is the scariest thing in the universe? For me, it's how vast and unknowable it is. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. One, three for the price of one. Even stranger than this triple galaxy merger is the recent discovery of a single galaxy containing three supermassive black holes. Just like with binary collisions, binary supermassive black hole galaxies aren't all that uncommon. Or at least they're not unprecedented like this tertiary system NGC 6240 is. NGC 6240 had previously been known to harbor two supermassive black holes on a slow collision course with one another. The galaxy we see today is the result of two separate galaxies merging, so the black holes doing the same was inevitable. The third black hole, however, had been hiding from us until November last year, as it's the closest to one of its neighbors that scientists had ever discovered, only 650 light years away. With this new player in the game, the suspected collision of the previous black holes may be faster than previously expected, 
only a couple million years, not hundreds of millions of years. With now two known triple mergers on the horizon, I can only imagine that we'll find a quadruple merger as well eventually.